This is Tom and Paula Graves from Light of Christ Radio with a chapter from our series called The Greatest Story. You're welcome to watch this video simply for the story, or you can use it as the basis of a small group study. Instructions for the small group study can be found in the show more section below this video. Today, we continue our series called The Greatest Story, and we're in our chapter entitled Believe. Our story is from Romans 6. Well, Paula, to set the backstory of our letter to the Romans, Paul wrote the letter to the Roman church later in his life. He hoped to use Rome as a staging ground for a mission trip to what we know today as Spain. Now, the Roman church had struggled with divisions between the Jewish and the Gentile believers, and Paul wanted to use this letter to focus them on the gospel of Jesus Christ, which could unify them. Well, so far in the letter, Paul's explained that both Jews and Gentiles are trapped in sin. Not even following the law of Moses can rescue them from this trap. Because it's only by trusting in Jesus, who is set by a loving God, that we can be rescued. Through death and resurrection of Jesus, God now has given us a new life and a new nature. But if that's true, how do we act and how do we live? And that question brings us to a story from the Word of God. Do not let sin control the way you live. Do not give in to the sinful desires. Do not let any part of your body become an instrument of evil to serve sin. Instead, give yourselves completely to God, for you are dead, but now you have new life. So use your whole body as an instrument to do what is right for the glory of God. Sin is no longer your master, for you no longer live under the requirements of the law. Instead, you live under the freedom of God's grace. Well then, since God's grace has set us free from the law, does that mean we can go on sinning? Of course not. Don't you realize that you become the slave of whatever you choose to obey. You can be a slave to sin, which leads to death, or you can choose to obey God, which leads to righteous living. Thank God, once you were slaves of sin, but now you wholeheartedly obey this teaching we have given you. Now you are free from your slavery to sin, and you have become slaves to righteous living. Because of the weakness of your human nature, I'm using this illustration of slavery to help you understand all this. Previously, you let yourselves be slaves to impurity and lawlessness, which led ever deeper into sin. Now you must give yourselves to be slaves to righteous living so that you will become holy. When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the obligation to do right. And what was the result? You are now ashamed of the things you used to do, things that end in eternal doom. But now you are free from the power of sin and have become slaves of God. Now you do those things that lead to holiness and result in eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And this is a story from the Word of God. If you're using this video for small group application, after you've watched this video, try retelling the story from what you have heard. Then read the text. Discussion questions are below in the show more section. We hope this will help you on your journey of life. Be blessed.